Great, you're moving right along. So first, you set up your Shoeboxed account, and then you created contacts for your Shoeboxed email addresses, and finally, you've made all your receipts disappear. So now, it's time to go in and process that data. But first, why do we want to process it? I thought it's already in Shoebox. Well, you know, Shoebox does a good job of pulling out the vendor, date, and amount of your purchase and figuring out what category it should be in, but it isn't perfect. So remember, your records are only as good as the data in them. And also, you want to, at the same time, enter those expenses in your accounting software. Because that's the actual record that your accountant's going to use at the end of the year to pre prepare your taxes. So, let's go into Shoebox. Depending on your purchase volume, we suggest that you go into Shoebox on a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly basis to confirm that all of your expenses are recorded properly. This won't take long because most of the heavy lifting has already been done for you. And while you're in there, we're going to enter all of the expenses into your accounting program. So for this step, log in to your Shoeboxed account. To make this process even smoother, while you're waiting for your Shoeboxed account to open up, go open your accounting program in a separate window. When you land on your Shoebox dashboard here, click on the Receipts tab at the top, and then when the list of receipts is shown, click on the first receipt. Shoebox will show you a copy of the receipt, and it will also show you all the data that it's extracted from the receipt. Go through and make sure that all of the data is correct, including the vendor, the date, the total, and how you paid. If any of those are incorrect, go ahead and change them now. Scroll to, to the bottom and make sure that Shoebox has also put the receipt in the right category. If not, just unclick the box and check another one. If you forget what category it should be in or how you paid, remember that we put that information in the subject line of the email and Shoebox puts that subject line information into the receipts notes. So, once you've confirmed that all the information is correct, go to your accounting program, enter the receipt in the accounting program, and then check the accounting program category here, in this case QuickBooks. And then close the window and go on to the next receipt. As you can see, it only takes a few seconds to process each receipt, and each processing session will only last a couple of minutes. These few minutes you spend now will save countless hours later and will audit-proof your books.